Much deliberation with the sandblaster and the last bit with the grinder because there's only so much you can do with sandblasting. Here we are. I didn't know this, but you know, this tailgate can pull 2,270 kilos. That's 2.2 ton. And it says do not weld. <laughs> Good. Not planning to. Load that dry, I'll come back and do another coat. So we're at the steel place, just about to get the floor put into this beauty. That looks so strange without a floor in it. <laughs> Alright, see you when we got the floor put in it. Loading it up. So the floor is mine, and that other stiff stuff's for uh, that other stuff's for someone else's project. Alright, here we are, all loaded up. Got it all strapped down. These milk crates are just to make sure that floor doesn't lift up. It's pretty good. I really love about this trailer is you can put stuff hanging out the front and the rear tailgate's closed. It's awesome. And it sits perfectly level too. Really good. So here we are after the metal factory. That's a better view. So I've just got it chocked up in here with some wooden planks so it doesn't get jammed in the sidewall there. And I've got to get a grinder and just take this tiny little bit off. Take this little bit off here. Then that should sit nicely in the bottom. I've got to work out how much I've got to take off the front as well. Because it's a bit too long. Let's get to it.
right, so we've got our trailer set up here. It's on a bit of an angle. I've had to put it on that angle so I can actually get under it and weld the floor to it. So I just gave it a try run, it looked pretty good. So that's the three spots where I've stitched the floor from underneath. It's just to stop the plate from moving anywhere. And how I'm doing it is I've got these mill crates here. You strap them down and you strap them on the out, sorry, through the middles of them. You strap them down hard. So it pushes the corners and the, the plate downward and then you can weld underneath it. So I'll just give you a view here. So that's my working environment at the moment. It's pretty confined, but I had to get right down the back and weld those in. So now I'll be doing this uh, rail here. I'll weld that in quickly. It's all pretty flat except for in that corner there where I've clamped it down. I'll have to clamp that corner down as well. But we're just gonna do a few little welds here. Just make sure nothing bends or lifts up over time. Finally finished, ready for paint. Jeez, what a job. Check it out. Got the floor welded in. So all these marks are from where I've welded it underneath and I've just had to hit it with primer. All things welded, all the, it's all primered. Painted with primer. And now ready for, uh, for paint, finally. Alright, so there it is painted in primer, and then we're going to paint it with uh, this guy right here, which is the same colour. <laughs> so, that's the colour of the primer, and this colour here is this one one and a half times, which is pretty much the same colour. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to paint it now.
All right, it's finally finished. Here it is. It's all dried, ready to go. All I gotta do now is put these wheels back on, uh, attach all the lights again. So put the, uh, obviously the number play back on and everything. So the way I'm attaching these lights here, I'll show you. So I've got these plastic couples and just put a thread in the bottom here and they just screw up. It's pretty, pretty cool. Just like this. Yep. Start it off. Need a screwdriver. <laughs> oh, neat. You just screw those up and it just holds the cable underneath the uh, the trailer. Nice and simple, just along the back axle. That's it. The uh, reverse light just goes up in there like that. Behind the uh, number plate. And then I've got to attach all of these things, I'll do that in a sec. And then the tow ball hitch at the front. I actually painted the tow ball hitch uh, with a paintbrush by hand. That looks pretty good. That's not bad. So it came out pretty nice. So I'll read everything. It's got two nice thick coats of paint on it, so two of primer and two of the, the uh, this, this stuff here. Dulux metal shield. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so now I've just got to reattach this hardware. This is just going to go back on there. A couple of screws, put a bit of Loctite on them. Obviously this one here as well, like this, just in there. Put them up and screw them in and now we're done. a look there it is completely finished ready to go ready to go got all the lights on ready to rock and roll actually looks pretty nice in this gray nice color Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more silly ideas.